Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do this Valentine's Day very sexy makeup look and uh, we're also going to be chatting about a lot, a lot of stuff about Valentine's Day, how to approach a guy, how to approach a girl, uh, different ways you should do it and different ways you should not do it, okay? <laughs> we're just going to be spilling a lot of tea and we're just going to be chit-chatting. If you guys are interested, we'll keep on watching and yeah, let's jump right into this video. As you guys can hear, I'm actually sick filming this video um, I've been sick all week I haven't been going to school or anything so that's the thing okay um, what am I doing <laughs> foundation okay I'm just gonna be talking okay cuz I'm tired of this old you know just boring makeup tutorials when I'm not talking to you guys and you guys don't basically know me either like you guys don't know my opinions and my like my personality or anything like that because most of the times when I do makeup tutorials I'm not talking like I'm just talking about the makeup and that's so boring I don't even watch that kind of videos actually like I just want to get to know the person you know I want some communication and stuff today we're gonna talk about Valentine's Day and uh stuff like that you guys know already like valentine's day is uh, coming very very soon I'm actually late in this video this should have been posted like a week ago I think uh, I'm just covering up my bags with uh, the same concealer you guys can use any concealer that you guys want like uh, if it's like red undertone you know uh, some people actually use orange and stuff like that but this is kind of orange so that's why I can use it to uh, cover up my dark circles and my mustache and stuff you know Next thing I'm gonna do after color correcting is just do my eyebrows. You guys already know this step I'm just brushing it first brushing it upwards, and then I'm taking my NYX Tame and Frame Tented brow pomade. I have a lot of stories about Valentine's Day and stuff like that and just people You know People not knowing how to reach out to another person. They have a crush on anything like that uh, I had a lot of men just you know, when they text, they text the wrong thing and just wonder why you're not answering and that's ridiculous to me and I understand, like you might not understand that it's it's kind of creepy the way you're texting people and stuff like that but this is how you're not supposed to do this is how you're not supposed to approach a person, okay? on a... anywhere actually in my mind if you want to DM a person that you do not know at all your first question should not be where do you live they would be like hi and you'd be like hi and they'd be like where do you live like what I'm not gonna tell you where I live that's creepy don't do that just don't don't do that don't do that okay you don't know them like it's hella random they just be like hey and then ask you where do you live like you don't even know my name sir like why why are we talking about where I live are you trying to kill me are you trying to show up bra, bra, at the end of the week or what we're we supposed to do well no no sir I'm not telling you where I live I just be like if a person actually asks me that I'm gonna ignore trust 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 I'm giving you guys tips okay and how to approach people like it's mostly like guys who approach girls in that way and then when you don't answer, they'll be texting you like, hi, 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 like several texts and you're just like... <laughs> if a woman do not want to talk to you, let me just answer you one thing. If you don't, if your woman do not want to talk to you, even if she have talked to you before and she decided, nah, this person is not for me and she don't want to talk to you anymore, she's not going to answer your text, okay? It doesn't matter when, she say, when, when you say, hey, 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 if you text several times, 1,000 times, she will actually block you if you text 1,000 times. I had a few experience of that as well. Just don't, don't be texting several times, okay? That's not cute for anyone. Like, that's kind of desperate. It just shows like you're very desperate and just like, you don't know what you're doing. At that point, you have no idea what you're doing. Oh my God, what, am I, what is going on with my eyebrows? Don't approach people like that. It's kind of creepy and 
just don't okay this is me this is sister Ruth trying to help a guy out trying to help a brother out by telling you guys what does not work at all okay if it approach a woman several times just text her or text her and she's gonna think that you're a creep point blank My eyebrows do not want to collaborate with me today, so it is what it is at the end of the day. I hope concealer is ready to collaborate with me. It's kind of embarrassing approaching a person in first time, like, it's really weird. And then once you have actually, like, texted and got away that part of, like, let's meet up and stuff like that, and you plan a date, women expect men to usually, like, choose where they're doing and uh, plan on, like, everything. But if the man approached you first and all he wants to do is like what you want to do at the end of the day Like all he wants to do is make you happy on that date so that you guys can go on another date if you know what I mean So it's not It's not a bad thing to just mention anything you understand like you don't have to plan everything but you can be like Oh, I really wanted to, to watch this movie and then the guy knows what to do like he will take you to the movies With the movie that you wanted to, to watch because all he wants to know is what you want to do at the end of the day Okay, he just wants to make you happy if he approaches you first because he's trying to you know He's trying to he's trying to get up all on you. So you need to be like, oh, I want to watch this movie to so just give him a little tip Okay, this is not finessing. This is just giving him a little tip on like what you want to do so he can ask you out On a date that you both can enjoy, you know If that makes sense This concealer is very light. I did not expect that I feel like people make relationships very complicated not relationships, but dating very very complicated because we don't want to communicate at that point like we're just like oh the person needs to know everything that i want and stuff like that and it actually doesn't work like that because you cannot expect a man or whoever you're dating we're not uh homophobic over here okay uh whoever you're dating we do not expect them to know everything like every boundaries you have and stuff like that we don't expect them to know in the first date which is why you're going on a date to get to know each other you know if they're just a shitty ass person, then they're just a shitty ass person, there's no excuse for that. But if they just do not know your boundaries, like uh, if you like things a certain way, or like if you uh, consider some things like cheating, and if you're not into those, um, what is it called, multi-dating type of stuff, that you need to be clear about in the first day, I feel like, or a second day or third day, you know, like whenever you guys are starting to get to know each other and thinking like, oh, this could be something. I feel like that discussion must be had, like to just make sure that you guys are in the same, in the same, in the same road. By the way, I'm not saying at all that you need somebody to celebrate Valentine's Day with. That is not true at all. At the end of the day, it's just a day, okay? Um, even if you're in a relationship, the lovey dovey, all that love stuff should not happen like once once in a year. Like that should happen all through all the year. But I feel like Valentine's Day is just to show other people how much how much in love you are does that make sense but like yeah it's more like for other people but like for me i see it in that way because everybody's posting those um to just share your love if that makes sense i feel like it's just a day to share your love but uh you should if you love somebody then you should be loving them and just being nice and uh you know, lovey-dovey and everything with them through all the year. Not supposed to just happen once a year. That's that's depressing. I would not like that very much. You guys already have seen, or if you haven't seen, I'll link it. I'll link it up here as well. Uh, how I do my eyebrows, so I'm not being very like careful and like telling you guys how I do it. But I'm taking an eyeshadow right now that's in the same color as my brows to just make it a little bit darker and set it. Yeah, and women, listen, there is no, there is no shame in being sexy, okay? I feel like, especially Ethiopian women and, um, you know, Eritrean women or any case like that, they feel like being sexy might be seen as slutty, but if a man is ever judging you and 
and saying to you that you're a slut, listen, that's not the right man. It's just not the right man. You should not be spending Valentine's Day with him either way. You understand? Like, that's no, no, we do not sex shame. I've been here, we're not, we're not doing that. Do not let anybody sex shame you in any type of way, especially your mans, okay? That's that's just kind of disgusting if you think about it. Like, that's that's not okay at all. So if you're sexy, appreciate that girl and you will find somebody that's gonna appreciate that. Don't be all like, oh, the men don't like me because I had this much partner and uh, I, I do this and, uh, and, uh, and I look like this and I wear this. No. We love a bad bitch, okay? And a bad bitch do not get intimidated by a, a weak man that be sex shaming women and have nothing to do, okay? Just don't, just don't, don't even date those men. Like, don't, how can I even say? Like, just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Although we finally have our brows. Now we're gonna go to foundation. And you guys already know what kind of foundation I'm using. My favorite foundation of all times. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pump it in my palette right here and I'm just gonna take my ankle brush and not ankle brush what is this called I forgot what it's called what I mean with like you don't need nobody to celebrate Valentine's Day with is because I I have heard like a lot of people say and um, just a lot of talk shows and stuff. I watch a lot of talk shows. And I have heard and seen them say like, oh, people get depressed because they have nobody on Valentine's Day. And I'm just like, you would rather be with nobody on your Valentine's Day than be with the wrong person at the end of the day. Like if you were with an abusive person and you don't know what half of these people with relationships are going through, you'd rather be alone right now so that you have the potential and you're making yourself available to find the right person than be with the wrong person and just they're not having no chance to meet the right person because if they're with the wrong person, you understand what I mean? So if you want to be in a relationship, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, I feel like everybody goes through their own um, their own cycle and uh, their own life and their own ways. But at the end of the day, I have no... Why? Why do we feel... <laughs> That's not okay. Just don't feel like you're alone on Valentine's Day. It's okay. Like, if you want some flowers, girl, go get you some flowers. You can buy flowers, like everybody else just go get you some flowers you get you some chocolate and you can actually plan stuff with your uh, girlfriends I love that actually uh, just go on a spa have like a day that you can relax and um, appreciate that you're not with the wrong man and if you guys on this Valentine's Day if you have a partner back at home or if you have a family you want to send Valentine's Day gifts to in Addis Ababa I have a link for you guys. The link is in the description box down below. You can send them gifts. If you order right now, you guys can, uh, the partner or your family or your friends can get the gift in two hours or three hours or something like that. But in very short time, the gift will be presented to them. So link in the description box down below. If you have somebody you wanna send gifts to in Addis Ababa, <laughs> make sure to use that link though, okay? Support your girl a little bit. We're gonna go to concealer and I recently got this uh, girl <laughs> Pro Concealer HD High Definition Concealer or whatever This concealer runs a little orange I do not like that about it I like a real like yellow concealer or whatever I don't like the application of this Ale concealer actually Communication is the key at the end of the day. If you have a guy that you want to go on a date with on this Valentine's Day and just want him to be uh, like your guy or whatever, just suggest a movie that's on the Valentine's Day. Or um, you can just suggest anything to do actually that's on the Valentine's Day and he'll get the hint. Oh, this woman actually wants to celebrate the Valentine's Day with me. See? Plan done. Like it's, you don't have to be very like Oh, I want you to be my valentine, this and this and that, if you don't want to, of course. Uh, some people are that baldy, so like, props to you, like, that's amazing. Um, 
but if you're not like very communicative and stuff like that and if you just want him to or want her to celebrate valentine's day with you just suggest a movie because like a valentine's day movie that's happening on that date just be like hey you want to go with this movie with me plan done you know i feel like a lot of men need uh, some kind of help with that stuff like just Figuring out what a woman wants to do or like what we would like to go and how to just approach and how just to talk to a woman so that they can get the best benefit out of it. Not benefit, but like actually win the girl over um, and stuff like that. It doesn't take a lot. Just don't be afraid to learn. Like I feel like a lot of guys do not. Just don't be afraid to think that you do not know everything because guess what no man is born in this earth knowing everything or no woman is up here in this earth knowing everything you kind of have to just learn your own ways and i feel like the way to do that is read books watch to a lot of tv shows that you guys can watch too like um there's a lot of men giving good advice out there like steve harbour steve harbour i think his name is and uh there's a lot of there is a, what is it called um Matthew Hussey, that's actually for women, but he gives some advice for men too, and that's actually really, really good too. Like I, I, I stand, I stand by those two men, like their advices and stuff like that. Yeah, you can just search up anything and not be so ashamed to just learn. You understand? Uh, I feel like a lot of women will understand what I'm trying to say, but we'll see if you guys get it as well now we set or whatever next step is oh my god i have too much powder here i don't know what to do with okay next step is we're gonna set the rest of our face and i have this milani powder right here and uh she's in the color of my skin you know it's nothing lighter or nothing darker she's the color of my skin ish it's kind of yellow when i see it but we're just gonna take a buffing brush is that what it's called and just take that like that and just set our rest of our face if you guys want to see how i contour and stuff like that that's also a video that i already recently made so you can check that out and there's also people who relationship shame and i'm not about that life at all because people just be like oh that woman is a gold digger and this woman is that and this woman is that but you don't understand you do not know what he has been saying to that woman to get her to be in a relationship with him or to be in a marriage with him with or like any have any kind of relationship with him you understand like he could have been telling her like oh i have a lot of money i can be getting this i can be doing this for you doing this for you and then complains afterwards like why she's being why she wants so much money from him that doesn't make any sense to me because at the end of the day you got the girl by telling her you have a lot of money to spend on her but now you said because she ha you have her and she wants you to spend a lot of money on her that doesn't that doesn't make sense to me just tell me what you make of the story like if a person was just like oh i can do this for you i can do this for you and then you guys get a relationship because you were like oh he can do this for me can do this for me and then uh, the person gets mad because you're asking for the things that he said he would give you you understand like or she give she will give you like i don't i don't understand the concept of that at all okay so let's not relationship shame that's not what i'm trying to do here at all okay experiences are a good thing okay like to be with the wrong person and to just get to know it will just make you get to know your own self if you understand what i mean or you can multi-date as well and then that will make you get to know your own self as well. there's people in jail getting receiving like love letters and stuff from people outside of jail you understand like there's people who have killed people and people still admire them outside of jail so people can fall in love with anybody okay you can fall in love with everybody but it's not it doesn't mean that it's the right person for you or it doesn't mean that you know we're just trying to learn just with our experiences okay and i don't feel like we're supposed to judge each other because of that because we all have to go through our own experiences to understand what we like and what we don't like and what we need in uh, our partner 
and stuff like that if you're a guy watching this and if you want like your woman to be happy on valentine's day and, but you don't understand, you don't know like what to get her and what to do on valentine's day you can just ask you can just ask her and she will hint some things to you she might not do it like exactly then she might be just be like oh you don't it doesn't matter we don't have to do that much and stuff like that it's a lie it's a lie don't ever believe it she wants you to go overboard and some out okay <laughs> just do um, just do it and then she will mention it to you like after some days just pay attention and she will let you know maybe not that day but she will let you know like couple days after or like some hours after because she already know what she want okay and she w she wants to hint it to you so that you understand what she wants but she's not going to fall out ask you like oh let's let's do this and let's do that because that's not that's not sexy is it now first things first i'm the realist we're gonna start off with uh this color right here you guys can see it like it's a brownish light brown type of color and it's from the juvia's place what's the name of this palette though the Charan number two by Juvia's. Okay. We're gonna go in with with the same palette, but this eyeshadow right there. Do they have names? Yes, they do. Fez. The name is Fez. We're gonna go in with Fez to the crease. It's kind of a black blackish color and I'm going in with this glitter orange color right here oh my god you guys don't see it it's kind of glitterish it doesn't show up on camera but we figure it out We're gonna finish it with the same palette uh, that we started off with and it's this color right here We have the both eyes done next we're just gonna do the under eye We're not making a wing eyeliner, but I want it to be like a cat, a catty look inside. So we're just gonna drag our eyeliner outside like that. Now I have put on mascara and I have my lashes on and um, yeah, we're gonna go into lips. We're just gonna line our lips with a, a dark brown uh, eyeliner. Lip liner, sorry. Lip liner next, and it's this, you know, nude ish color. Next, I'm gonna put on lip gloss. spray our face with a fix spray and this is from I love makeup I don't know what kind of brand this is but we're gonna try it oh, that was a bath next we're gonna highlight I'm going with slick I'm gonna go in with this golden color right here I always use this color So this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this makeup or what we're talking about and stuff like that, you guys can let me know all your opinions in the comments. Tell me what you guys are doing on Valentine's Day. I'm very interested in you know knowing and I want some tips on what to do and stuff like that as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you like this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.